Hey everybody, Eric here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix secure boot issues with some gaming. This one I had an issue with Battlefield 6, the open beta. This will happen with other games as more security services are put in place or programs. You're going to have to have secure boot on to play games in the future, I think. And it's not that hard. Let me get to it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to be quick about this. We're going to keep it smooth. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep us supported because... I don't cause you to see a thousand ads like everybody else. I save your time because I appreciate your time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and support us. Let's get to it. So you need to hit the Windows key in R, or you can type it down here in the little search bar, whatever works best for you. And we're just typing MS Info 32. We're going to hit OK. What we're doing here is we're just verifying that this is actually turned off on your PC. Because uh, if it's on, well, then you have another issue. And I'm not quite sure what's going to fix that for you, to be honest. But... Wait, we're looking for two things. We're looking for BIOS mode. You want it in UEFI mode. So if this is in something else, note that you're going to have to change that when we go into the BIOS here in a second. And then you want to look and see if secure boot state is on or off. If off, that's your problem. You need it to be on. And so we want to switch that. You can't actually switch it from here. This is just kind of a quick place to look. Uh, so now we know what the problem is. Yes, it is off. So now we need to go to the BIOS. And if you've never done this before, it's an experience. Uh, make sure you do your research. You can really mess your computer up in here. So we're just going to make the changes that we want to make and leave everything else alone so we don't break anything. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to your search bar here and you want to type in advanced startup. Change advanced startup options. That's the one you actually want. You can type that in to get it right, whatever. As so long as you get there. And then we're going to go down here to advanced startup. We're going to hit restart now. And this is going to restart your machine. Don't forget that after you're done. And this is going to boot you into a advanced mode, which is going to let you get into your BIOS easily. So when you do this, it's going to restart your machine. Just be aware of that. Then you're going to get into the BIOS. Finish this video first and then do this portion. All right. So once you get rebooted, you're going to be at a screen like this. It's going to say advanced options. You want to click on advanced options to get you to this part. There's one screen before this. And then you'll see UEFI firmware settings. You want to click on that right there. And then what that's going to do is it's going to reboot you into your BIOS. All right, once you get into your BIOS, everybody's BIOS is going to look a little different unless you have the exact same motherboard, right, and the version and all that. But mine here is in security. Yours will be somewhere similar. It could be in settings, something. You're looking for boot, secure boot, secure boot state you want to enable, and then the OS type, you want to make sure that Windows UEFI mode is on. And once you have that stuff set, then you're going to actually save your changes. So you want to go to, it's usually an exit screen or something like that, and you want to hit save changes and restart and you, then you got to okay that to finalize the changes all right that should get you all fixed you should not see this error anymore like we got here i do also want to mention that ea has a great support site you can see it right there the link go.ea.com slash secure boot if you need written instructions on how to do this uh check them out thanks for watching everybody don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have yourself a great day